Hi everyone, my name is Sol, and today I want to talk to you about Dune. I just saw Dune. It seemed like a, an interesting watch. No, I did not read the books. I have the, the book on my list of books I want to read, and that list just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so I have no idea if I'll ever actually get around to it, but if I do, I'm sure my opinion on this movie will change, and I feel like this will be a big franchise. I feel like I'm starting like the, the starter kit to another big adventure, and this is just the beginning. Even when you, you know, turn this movie on, right at the beginning, it says Dune Chapter 1. This is basically like the Fellowship of the Ring. And as a Fellowship of the Ring story, it's hard to really judge it when it's not complete. Uncompleted stories are hard to review, but as a first reaction, initial impulse, which really m my reviews are for the most part, it's rare I'll rewatch movies. If I do and I have like really nuanced things to say, those are reserved for bigger videos on the main channel. But as my first watch of Dune, I enjoyed it a lot. It's a big sci-fi ga galaxy brain, big lore, giant effects, splendid acting. It it's one of those kind of movies. It's like two and a half hours long. They jam pack it full of content, and it's a delight, man. The world building, the characters, a lot of the interactions. There's some really intense scenes in there. Uh, I'll start with just like the style. And as much as I love to rag on, oh, the films just aren't like uh, the handcrafted things. There's no practical props. I'll, as much as I love to say that, like there's certain films I watch, and I'm like, no, I'm glad. We have the the CGI and the effects that we do today because certain films like this are possible. And shame, shame on HBO Max releasing this just, just out of the blue. Giving people the option to watch it at home. I almost watched this at home. Do yourself a favor. Go see it on the big screen. The the rumble of the, the sandworms, uh, the gorgeous... Like, seeing these tiny little ant people run away from these gigantic uh, set pieces, it's truly divine. And on top of that, um, all the characters uh, I find interesting. I'm not going to lie, like, the first 20 minutes of this film, I was kind of kind of nodding off. There was just so much lore dump and so many things happening right away that I was beginning to feel the, the, the do I even really like this uh, coming on? But once you start like, okay, th these people do this, these people are like this, his mom is from this, these people, his dad is of these people, they're uh, trying to just uh, take over the lives of the, the sand tribal people, uh, it all starts to make sense. And then you kind of appreciate each perspective group's like lore and their customs and traditions and like you you feel like you're really tapping into like a big sci-fi story and i love you know i love mass effect i love star wars like i like big sci-fi stories they're awesome and they have good lore in here like i like i like the idea that like he has this ability of like it's basically force powers like you know how you can tr mind trick people he basically his mom has the ability to mind trick people and have the the voice very interesting, but it's all like kind of like this dark religious group that's behind it. Um, that's interesting, man. And then uh, the Zendaya's people of the the Tatooine planet. Uh, keep in mind, you don't see Zendaya much in this movie. She is practically non-existent in this film, uh, despite being like the main marketing. But again. When she finally does appear, it has that, that extra weight to it. it. It finally feels like, ah, Zendaya, waifu, here she finally is. And I'm sure she'll have a big part in the later movies, especially since there's certain characters that get killed in this uh, this movie. And I was thinking just like, man, are they going to be able to do a sequel when they've already killed like most of the characters I find interesting? And I, I believe they will. There are plenty of interesting things still happening and again it still has the lore in the story that i think the i think this franchise will carry into something truly truly special and if 
the first film is anything to go off. It's going to be great. Hans Zimmerman on the score, splendid. This is one of those films where if it didn't have, like, this epic score, and I'm talking epic, like, if you just watch, like, if you YouTube, like, epic film scores, I'm sure Dune's going to be in there. Uh, the, the like, banshee, like, chanting screech things. Um, it's all splendid. And I'm not going to try to pronounce the director's last name, Dennis. I uh, directed Prisoner. He's a fantastic director. This is one of those things that, like, it's crafted masterfully. This is one of those films that it's not an accident that it came out perfect. And I got to give it up for the cast. Every single cast member from Josh Brolin to Zendaya to Jason Momoa, who looks weird with a clean-shaven face, let me tell you. Um, each of them knocked it out of the park. Again, this film takes itself very seriously, but there's nothing wrong with that when you have a actual serious epic tale like this. I was fully invested, and I think once this film lasts the test of time, once we have the sequels, I think it'll be an even better film. Again, Fellowship of the Ring, a lot of these trilogies, the Batman Begins, they're fantastic. But once you have the context, the rest of the story, once you know that these plot threads that have been introduced actually have like uh, fulfilling endings, that, that's where they even become greater films and part of something bigger. That's how sequels work. And uh, I, I just have to remind people of that with films like this. Yes great it could be even better in the future but as of now there's still a lot of unanswered questions and it's hard to really give a, a a solid score with that in mind but uh everything from the giant sandworms to this edgy kid's haircut i love it all man uh shout out to edgar Allan poe's ass what is his actual name Oscar Isaac's beard, man, he looks so badass, and I like that the characters, they don't have, like, computers or anything, it's not like that sci-fi crap, it's actually really practical, fucking dust is what powers their spacecraft, the sand dust, why not, man, again, it's a very badass world, and I can't wait to see more of it, I'm gonna give Dune a strong 8 out of 10, this is like one of those 8 out of 10s where I was really just kind of hovering over the score like ah, ah. and I'm sure it'll get a, it'll get a 9 from me in the future but as of now it's an 8. That being said, thank you for watching everybody and until next time with that I leave you.